Hi everyone and welcome to this video where we're going to talk about ultrasound guided fracture reductions. I'm Ryan Jorgensen and I'm currently an emergency medicine ultrasound fellow at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. Now for me personally, fracture reductions are something that I came out of residency without a lot of confidence in. Utilizing ultrasound to guide my reductions at the bedside has improved my confidence and ability to get the reductions, while not absolutely perfect, to an acceptable point where the patient has improvement and pain and can follow up with orthopedics closely for further management. Some of the key benefits to using ultrasound guided fracture reduction include direct feedback immediately at the bedside during the reduction, not having to coordinate with x-ray to have them at the bedside when you're ready to reduce, avoiding radiation, and the fact that you're more likely to have ultrasound as well as be comfortable with it when compared to C-arm. So here's the scenario. You've got the above patient who slipped on the ice, and you've already got your triage x-ray demonstrating the fracture. Now let's say you're ready to perform your reduction. In general, you're going to want to choose the linear probe as opposed to the curvilinear for this. You'll want to scan the bone from three different vantage points, and in general, a longitudinal view is going to be more beneficial than a transverse view. Go ahead and place the probe on the bone proximal to the fracture in the longitudinal view. What you're looking for is this smooth hyperechoic line that represents the cortex of the bone. You'll then take the probe and slide it distally until you arrive at the fracture site. When you reach the fracture site, you'll notice that the hyperechoic line representing the cortex has an obvious disruption. Please keep in mind that growth plates can have a similar appearance depending on the nature of the fracture, and you need to be aware of the location of growth plates so as not to confuse them with a fracture. As an aside, the same scanning technique could be utilized to perform a hematoma block prior to reducing the fracture. Here's one more image of that same fracture from a different vantage site demonstrating that it's a comminuted fracture. Now that you've imaged the fracture, you're ready for reduction. Go ahead and use finger traps or a purely manual reduction or whatever your favorite technique is and make some manipulation. Once you feel that there's been improvement, go ahead and place the probe back on the fracture site. In this first image, we see a patient's fracture site. After initial manipulation, there has been some improvement in the alignment, but further work is required. The third image demonstrates further improvement and in the fourth image, we can see that the fracture site is back to anatomic alignment. Here is another example of a fracture with stepwise improvement during the manipulation until the fracture site is back to normal anatomic alignment. Here are the post-reduction x-rays performed after a splint had been applied. While this reduction is not perfect, it is adequate to the degree that the patient had significant improvement in pain and could be discharged with orthopedic follow-up for outpatient surgical correction of the intraarticular fracture. In this patient's case, utilization of ultrasound allowed the reduction to be performed without having to coordinate with x-ray and with assurance that the reduction was performed to a sufficient quality so as to avoid having to go back to the room, take down the splint, redose analgesics, and start over with the manipulation. In the future, I would encourage you to give this technique a try and witness the benefits it provides firsthand. I hope you enjoyed that video about ultrasound guided fracture reduction and a special thanks to Dr. Jorgensen for taking the time to record that video for us. It's definitely an important topic and something that's helpful for us that work in an acute setting. If you found this content useful, feel free to subscribe below and also hit that alert button so you get notified when we have new content. Also, you can comment below if you have any questions or you can reach out to me at pocusgeek at gmail.com. Take care and uh, happy ultrasounding.